Let us talk about the principles of electrosurgery in terms of the cut and the coagulation effect. Here, we are ready to remove a large pedunculated polyp. We could use a, either a pure coagulation or a cut with a coagulation effect. When you look at your electrosurgery unit, in my unit I use Irby machine. This is what I see. Cut current, coagulation current. And how do they perform? When you look at how they actually create coagulation effect or the cut effect, it basically depends on two important principles. One, the degree of temperature elevation. For coagulation, it is between 60 to 100 degrees. For cut, it has to be above 100 degrees for the water in the cells to boil. It is not only the temperature elevation, but also how fast it actually happens. With the cut current, the temperature rises above 100 degrees centigrade very fast, resulting in cellular vaporization that ultimately leads to a pure cut. When you use coagulation, the temperature rises slowly to between 60 to 100 degrees, and that slow cooking results in dehydration and coagulation of protein. So this is how a cut current and a coagulation current create their cut by vaporization and coagulation by dehydration and coagulation of the proteins. Next, let us look at another important feature between the cut and the coagulation in terms of their voltage. So here, soft coagulation, it is a continuous cycle of less than 200 volts. When it comes to forced coagulation and spray coagulation, it's a higher voltage with interrupted cycles. Spray coagulation, very high voltage. This is not typically used in snare polypectomy. We used a forced coagulation for snare polypectomy. And we use soft coagulation for superficial coagulation and for blood vessel coagulation. When it comes to cut, endocut has a voltage of more than 200 volts without interruption. And with dry cut, you do have some interruption because there is a lot more coagulation compared to endocut. Let us look at the tissue effects in relation to these voltage peaks and the waveforms. As you can see here, with soft coagulation, less than 200 volts peak, superficial coagulation. With pure cut, more than 200 volts peak, and a nice clean cut. Blend current, 
with 50% duty cycle, a coagulation current with 6% duty cycle. That means with that 6% duty cycle, there is high voltage and then a lot more inactivity before the next cycle starts. And that inactivity would allow the coagulation to happen. So these are the principles of electrosurgery, cut and coagulation. Thank you.